Well, this is it. The moment of truth. I got my moccasins done. Here I am. I found this little little oasis in the middle of the woods, this little green patch. So I set up shop and I actually got brave enough to finally cut my buckskin and make some moccasins. And I just finished them. You know, you're just so freaked out. You're going to cut your buckskin, which you work so hard on. And if you screw up with these moccasins, it's all just a waste. So I had procrastinated and I have this much left anyway. I can do something with that. But the pattern I used, <clears throat> I got from the book Indian Craft by Ben Hunt, which I love a lot of his books. And you know, come on, if you're gonna make some moccasins, shouldn't you follow, you know, the original survivalists, the, the best bushcrafters out there? And these people who not only figured out how to do things, but they thrived and they were artists. And I will never claim to be able to make moccasins like they do, but it's pretty cool to know that I can reach back in time and sort of follow um, a pattern that, that worked for them. So I'm pretty excited about that. I added a couple of variations to the pattern that weren't in the book. For one thing, when I was sewing my moccasins, I added a welt around all the seams, which is basically just a thin strip of leather in between what you're sewing. It just helps reinforce the seams. The other thing I did was add an upper, which is this part here. Um, I like it coming up my ankle a little bit, and then I made the wraps long enough to wrap around the leather. I just used regular beading thread. I didn't have enough sinew to use. I also find these very critical. It's just a little coin thimble I put on my thumb, and that way when I'm pushing the needle through, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't totally wreck my thumb. I used a Glover's needle, which is specifically for leather. It's, it's a three-pointed tip, three-sided tip, and that'll go through leather really good. So I'm not going to tell you how to make moccasins. There's a lot of patterns out there. And trust me, I'm no expert, so just making these for my own trial and error, which is what it's all about. Next thing I'm going to do is actually go into the woods and review these things and see how it feels to walk in moccasins. Because, you know, if you're like me, you usually wear boots or something hard-soled in the woods. And so I really want to see what this feels like. I know in the winter when I wear my mucklucks, I absolutely love them. They're very soft, they're moose moose hide on the bottom and it's just so much more flexibility my feet stay so much warmer in mukluk so yeah I'm pretty psyched about this um, so next thing to do is go in the woods and try it out well since we're on the verge of morel mushroom season here when you're looking for morels you gotta move really slow so I figured it'd be a good time to put the old moccasins to work I did put an extra piece of suede on the bottom. I'm a little concerned about blowing through my buckskin so quickly. So I'm just going to try it out and see what it feels like to walk in buckskin moccasins in the woods and hopefully find some morels. Well, so far so good. These feel great. I just came through this area where there was a lot of um, brush. They had just logged it. So quite a few sticks to walk on and, and uh, what I find myself doing is really concentrating on the ground watching where I'm stepping. But, you know, I'm also here to look for morels. So that's not entirely a bad thing. But walking across a grassy area like this is pretty darn nice. And just over this hill, I found morels last year, so let's go check it out. I tell you what, when I'm looking for morels, I'm looking for a place 
just like this. Morels seem to like lots of ferns. They seem to like cherry trees and popple trees and a bit of pine trees mixed in, so I'm hoping this is a spot. I found some here last year. We'll see. Finding lots of these beef steaks. They share the same habitat as morels, but this isn't what I'm after. These things make, make some people sick, so I've just never even bothered with them. Boy, if that was a morel, I'd be so excited, but now I'm finding lots of these, unfortunately. At least it's nice to see something, so it's all good. Man, I wish that was a morel. Oh, it's a whole bunch of them. Where's my morels? <laughs> I want morels. And there's another one. And there's another one. And look how disguised this one is. You're walking along, you don't even see that thing. Totally buried. Just like morels. Hello. Mushroom that I don't want to eat. Hello. Look at this. It's like I've stumbled on beef steak acres. They're, they're everywhere. There's one. There's another one. And another one. Oh my gosh. Another one. Beef steak acres. Where are the morels? Finally, you know, seeing the first morel mushroom when you're looking for them means everything. Oh, so where there's one, there's more. I'm gonna get down low and check out this area. Nope, that was the only one. Oh well. Look at this spot I found. It's amazing. Cool, cozy, kind of like my moccasins. Let's talk about that. They turned out good um, out here. I just felt like I, I had to slow down. was very aware of what I was stepping on. This stuff is awesome. And uh, they're very comfortable. I never felt like... A couple times I felt some sticks kind of want to poke me, but... You just kind of move your, shift your weight and compensate for it. So, buckskin moccasins in the woods, thumbs up. Very happy. Morel mushroom hunting, today thumbs down. Beef steaks, phew, whatever. So sad. Dun, 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 dun. This is a news flash. So I got home. Long day hiking around in the woods looking for morels. I tell the kids, I got one. One morel to show. 20 minutes later, my son comes through the door and says, Mom, I gotta show you something. You're not gonna like this. I'm like, what? He says, come on out and look. Come on on the front porch, right where I'm sitting. And there's three morel mushrooms growing right there on the side of the concrete off the porch. <laughs> Got to be kidding me. This is insane. So yeah. I spent all day finding one. He took a second glance at the concrete walking in the house and found three. It did get me thinking though that I should check the spots right here that I know of where I found mushrooms before. So let's go take a look. Believe it or not, this is the spot right off our country road here. Goofy, but I have found morels here before. And I brought my basket. I'm feeling optimistic. One time I mowed this area and I mowed some morels. I was like, oh, no! So that's how I found them. Found one. Yay! Yay! See there? White one. See that? There's one there. Little one there. Nice big one there. Love these white ones, they stick right out. Oh, and there's another one. <gasps> and two more. 
had another one. Oh my gosh. I see morels. It's like a miracle. Yay. Well, I have to say that ended well. Look at that. Finally got some morels in my basket. Pretty sweet. Hey, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.